Good morning, Bob Golder. Good morning, Thanks Tracy. for welcoming us into your neighborhood. Ah, you're welcome. Welcome. Nice to have you. Tell me about, um, tell me how long you've been here. Tell me a little bit about your neighborhood. Well, I've uh, lived around here uh, probably for the last uh, 64 years, which is wow, hard. You've seen some changes. Uh, quite a few changes. And I've uh, been uh, in and out of this place, the local church, local school, um, local uh, club. And uh, just the neighborhood I've been around. You, let me ask you, do you think this is a, a neighborhood that's very close, community-oriented? Like you can speak to your neighbors, see your neighbors? Yes, yes. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's a friendly neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of, uh, I, the schools that are down the street have closed, but um, mm -hmm. they're city of Pittsburgh schools. But, I mean, it used to be when we were kids growing up, we played ball in the, uh, in the lot beside it. There was a basketball court that we played balls with old socks that we made <laughs> sticks instead of bats uh, back in the 50s. But, um, Ingenuity. The people come around and there's been schools and there's been service stations here that, that have closed but uh, there's a local church and, and a lot of people go there. There's some local fire departments around here that uh, people you know go to and they have establishments, clubs and whatnot that they so you have a really good community feeling going on uh, here. I think so. Is it a diverse neighborhood? Yes, yes. Uh, there's all kind of uh, uh, different people. Different uh, people, young, old. Germans, Italians, you know, and everything. <laughs> Black folk, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, uh, older and younger. Very good. Very good. I, although I think mostly older now, it's because really? it is an older neighborhood. Um, a lot of the uh, houses along Mifflin Road and that here are older. I see. So I had grandparents that lived in them. My mother was born in one of them and, uh, oh, wow. years ago. That's a real wonderful sense of history. Where do you see your neighborhood in 25 years? Well, they've talked for years about bringing a highway here, connecting Route 43 coming out of the South Lake Car uh, California and mm -hmm. Bronzeville down that way and connecting it with Monroeville. But that's mostly what they've been doing about it. They stopped that in the large PA out there, and I don't know where the plans are now, but I can remember 25 years ago us talking about it uh, here sitting in the club and saying, ah, before we'll all be dead before the highway's in, in through here. But, and it sort of looks that way now. But uh, well, Do you it, think the highway coming. coming through here would really um, add to you your community economically or socially, or, or do you think it will hurt it with a bunch of traffic? Well, the highway should be pretty smooth, like it's, it would be a uh, turnpike type deal where with exits, so it could be people from other areas into this area, so maybe some businesses would, would pop up here. We've lost a lot of them mm. with the mills in Homestead and the Mesta Machine and uh, Continental Can at the top of the hill. I mean, those are businesses where hundreds and thousands of people worked. and. They used to be part of this community, and now they're gone. So, so did that take a great deal of the population out? It did, it did. But now with the, the waterfront down here and the businesses and the restaurants down there, it kind of brings them back in the Homestead area. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you seeing um, a lot of young families with small children move in, kind of revitalize the neighborhood? Um, not right in this immediate area right now. I think because of the older houses. When these older houses go down and that, and I'm sure contracts will get in and they'll start building mm -hmm. newer homes, and I think that will bring the younger, the younger families in. Do you find that you have to leave your community to get some of the amenities, or do you find that you can get everything right here in the neighborhood? No, not, not anymore. Not used anymore. to be that way, but not anymore. Had a lot of mom and pop shops back in the day. Yes, yeah. yes, there were. Do you miss that? Um, I, I do. As, as being younger, younger, I used to go to a lot of them. Uh, had grandparents that lived right on the street, and, and cousins and I could go to a uh, uh, an old market and, and buy candy or mm -hmm. pop or whatever. And, uh, so I, I miss kind of miss that. But uh, now, if you want something, you have to jump in the car and go. Right. Do you find that the the, the uh, uh, Port Authority transportation is is good here, so that people are. Um can, really can get out of the neighborhood? Actually, yes. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of buses and that. And the Port Authority garage is right at the top of the hill up here, so they do come through here a lot. And there's quite a few stops along here, so the, the, the transportation is good. If somebody were to come out of town, Bob, where's the first place you take them in your neighborhood? 
Probably down to the waterfront because mm -hmm. there's just so many choices down there. Different yeah. types of restaurants from Asian restaurants to Italian restaurants mm -hmm. to, you know, to rib joints and ice cream shops and, and, and yeah. shopping and that down there also. Yeah, and you, I, I also understand that they are, there's a bike trail down there. There that, is a bike trail. goes all along, comes out of uh, downtown Pittsburgh and comes all the way up through Hayes and along there. And right now we're, we're treated with... Uh, a, a bald eagle. There's two bald eagles, a male and female, and they just hatched a uh, young eagle. Are you serious? That's the first ones around here, which which is a good sign, according to the news and the people. They say that it's a good sign that the rivers are being cleaned that up. That they're healthy. Yeah, the yeah that's a that. good point. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's a pretty along the bike trail. You see people every day taking pictures. Taking pictures and of their. They stayed away from them, not to chase them away, and it's. Uh, it's the first time in in a couple of hundred years that a baby eagle has hatched around this area. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that. You really brightened my day. It's helping to put us on the map. It really <laughs> is. One thing I can say about your community is it's green. You still have a lot of your trees where a good many communities are have you know they've lost that that feeling that you're in the woods but you're still in the city. Yeah, we do, and and a lot of it's still uh, you know untouched. I mean, there's. Rooms that you know, if, if contractors would come in, they could uh, they could build homes in that. And on top of some of the hills here, they have built okay. new homes, and, and and there's that's where your younger crowd net comes in. Do you think that's good, or do you, <clears throat> do you do? Would you like to see that happen? <clears throat> more homes come in. I do, I do. I yeah. think as the population grows, more businesses will come in, and uh, uh, the community itself will grow. Yeah, and as the as more people move in, then more amenities will follow. I would think so. I think I so. I would think so. Tell me a little bit about the Moose Club. Um, you are well, actually um, this year on October twenty seventh is our one hundredth birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Thank you. We had fifty uh, fifty gentlemen one hundred years ago signed a charter with the uh, Moose International, which is a national international club, and uh, that with fifty signatures, they granted them a charter and. Now we probably have uh, male members around 250, and female members we probably have around 175, 180. Wow. So we've grown, uh, even though we've lost because of the businesses that, that don't come in. We used to be open all day, but and we, we're a charitable you know, organization. We hook in with the, the main reason of the Moose Club is Moose Heart, Moose Haven. It takes care of the elderly and the children. Uh, they have uh, schools. In, it's in Chicago, but that's Moose... Uh, Moose Heart, and that's where the kids go, and Moose Haven is where the elderly go if they're financially not able, and through donations of clubs like ours, we, you know, we send money to them, we're assessed so much every year, and uh, takes care of them, they can live out their lives, uh, you know, in comfort. Healthy and peaceful. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good establishment, and we give charities, we donate a lot to local churches, fire, fire departments, uh, So you're kind police. of like a landmark in this community. Uh, well, 100 years. I guess so. I can't years. beat that. How old would you say your neighborhood is? Oh, it's um, it's pretty old. It goes back to the early Andrew Carnegie de, uh, days, uh, the Moose Club, or the, not the Moose Club, the, uh, the Mills, mm -hmm. J&L Mill and the Homestead Works of the Mill and the Duquesne over the, over the hill here. I uh, had a large mill over there with a big blast furnace they used to call Dorothy. So it's heard about that. it goes back a couple hundred years. It's 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 been, and it was. Um, I'm not so sure. I've heard from my grandparents and an older uh, older gentlemen and whatnot that it was it was a lot of Italians, a lot of Germans, and they used to play a lot of football and baseball here, uh, and they'd play the football on the the, the dirt, the rocks. <laughs> it was it was not grass and, no and grass. soft. No, it was, <laughs> When you came from playing football, you were your knees were all cut up and your face was. You had a good fingers. time. Well, we, did. we did. Bob, I've had a wonderful time talking to you, and thank you for uh, welcoming thank you. me to your neighborhood. Oh, you're thank you, welcome. and good luck on being a hundred years old. Uh, thank Not you very much. Figuratively, but literally, <laughs> I'm no, literally, but figuratively. <laughs> Correct.